Now that we're able to read our API data into Unity, let's go ahead and make it so that we can display that data inside of Unity. Sounds like fun. Um, so in the end of the last video, we had quickly set up our API wrapper just to test its genericness by changing over to player path by time. Mm -hmm. uh, let's put that one back to player path by click. By click, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, and just to be nice and pedantic, we did set up player path by time as its own class, as its, its own class in this file. Um, oh, yeah. And because we've done that one, Nick, just be lazy. Sorry, just so to be lazy, lazy and fast. Yeah. yeah. So API wrapper is going to be generic to all of them. Mm. Uh, so I kind of think that we should put all of these in the one file. Yeah, it's good enough. Yeah, and then we'll just change this file name. Yep. to be, which was in our models of analytics. Uh, whoa, too far. What would we call this one? API data, datas. Uh, yeah, API, API models. API models. That works for me. Come back here, make sure that we reload that and it says, yes, I am now calling it models, which it just closed it. So I'll come back into Unity and double click it and it'll open it. Okay, lots of backwards and forwards and forwards zing 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 there. Cool. That was really hard to say. I don't know why. <laughs> probably just tired. You're probably just tired. All right, so now that we're here, uh, it's now back on player path by clicks. Let's continue along with this one. The user has just pressed A and said, get some data from our API. Let's get that data from the API. And after we have that data, let's render it. Cool. Let's put it onto the screen. So let's say cool. render data and we're focusing on player path by clicks. And if we're going to have access to this variable, uh, the, 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 the data, sorry, oh, I was hunting around to find, where did I put it, where did I put it? <laughs> uh, we're gonna need to create the list outside of this method. So let's come up here and go public string web API endpoint, um, public API wrapper player path by clicks, and we'll call this um, data player path by clicks. Where is my typing skills going? Or has it gone? Play path, player path. Everyone feel free to laugh at me. Nick, <laughs> Nick is. All right, so now instead of putting this into var the data, let's put this into that one. Um, great. Now let's render our data. So inside of this, how are we going to render our data? What we're going to do is for every single object, every single player path click position that we have, mm -hmm. we are going to create a cube inside cool. of Unity uh, in our game and put it at the position where the clicks happen. Cool. Then after we've got that working, we'll then move on to make them be colored cool. based on how many people are clicking in that position. That's a cool idea. So let's quickly make the them uh, renderable first. So to do that inside of Analytics Manager, I'm going to add a empty game object and I will call this one, uh, what should we call it? Let's call it display. display. Player path way. So I don't need this one to be generic by clicks or so I don't need to do this one to be specific for by click or by time or by distance because mm -hmm. we're only going to have it so you can only render one type of thing at a time. Okay. So as we can just reuse the same object every single time. Cool. Uh, on side of analytics manager, mm -hmm. sorry, analytics display, not analytics manager, we will need to have a reference to that game object. So let's right. put that here, public game object uh, display. Display. I couldn't bother typing again, and I'll probably type it in incorrectly. Anyway, <laughs> there we go. So now yep. it can be referenced. Let's go back into the analytics manager, which has the analytics display component on it. And because we've made it public, it should be coming through any second now. That would be great. There it is. I forgot to press save in Visual Studio. Helps oh. me press save. Oh, so now, good. sorry, that's good. <laughs> so now, yeah, we've put a reference to analytics uh, display player pathway on our rend on our analytics display class mm -hmm. component. 
Uh, Alright, so let's come back in here and start rendering our data. So we're going to skeleton this one in uh, this method, which is going to be clear viz, clear viz for clear visualization. Mm -hmm. um, play our pathways. We're not going to do anything with this one right now, but when we come, we'll come back to this one in a minute or in another video shortly, which will be when you, if you want to look at one type mm. and then you want to look at another type of data, you'll have to clear off the current display of stuff that's there. Yeah. So this okay. one will actually go through and clear that up. So right. we'll leave it there so that we don't forget, uh, or it's at least there for now anyway. So now let's quickly look to make sure that we've actually got some data on our object, our data object. So data, play a path by clicks. Let's quickly make sure that this guy is, his data is not null. Uh, what am I doing? It should be if player path like clicks dot data is equal to null. Whoa, null. Then we'll return another quick little check. If the player path like clicks dot data dot count is equal to zero, then we'll also return. I can put them in an and, but I'm just going to leave them all separately out. Cool. Um, now we just need to every time we Let's, sorry, I'm a bit fudged in this video, aren't I? Yes. 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 Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> let's set up a for loop mm -hmm. and say we'll go through all of the data points inside of our player paths by clicks list. All the events. All the events. And then we, for each of those, we will create a box. Cool. And we will position that box based on where the data tells us to put it. Cool. So let's go data. Player path by clicks dot count. Is um count should be a capital C. Does are there four each methods yet? D sorry, I was going to data dot count by mistake there. Um, yes, you can use for each inside of Unity, but that oh. can cause a memory leak. <laughs> so we're going to go with four. four. So yeah, you know for each is let's quickly skeleton that in here. For each uh -huh. bar item is actually declaring that item. Yeah. Okay. So if you've got a thousand, it's going to create one thousand objects. Yes. And then at the oh, end of it, the, the garbage oh, okay. collector will come along and go, yeah. kill them all! And yeah. then everything just becomes halting for a while. Mm. So the four gets you around that. Mm, okay, because then it's just a, so you're just going to buy a uh, pointer. Correct. Cool. Yep. Yeah, uh, it was a weird one for me. I was like, I like my four each. Yeah. <laughs> it can shorten a lot of things down for smaller mm. pieces. All right, so let's get into this one. What is the player position going to be? Or what was the, the event position going to be? Uh, which is going to be vector three event position is equal to new vector three. And inside of this one, we need to have an X mm -hmm. and a Y and a Z or Z. Nick, do you say X, uh, Z or Z? We've had, had this discussion before. We've definitely had this discussion. We have definitely had this. <laughs> dot so click position x was where it happened uh mm -hmm. let's now put in x y and z or z if you prefer that some people yep. I'm not calling them weirdos because they are open to have their own opinion <laughs> uh now that we've done that let's create a new box and we'll call that <laughs> game object yep uh what should we call this one um event object position positional thing uh, event, yeah, thing, event, <laughs> event display thing. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Is equal to instantiate, and we are going to create a new what? Well, we need to reference the object that is going to be the default thing that we're going to create. So I'm just going to put in um, uh, uh, thing, which is going to yell at me because it doesn't exist because I haven't made that yet. We'll come back to that. Whoops. Okay, you'll see. And then where do we want to put this thing, which is going to be at the transform of the object that we set as the parent here. So mm -hmm. display player pathway. Mm -hmm. Dot transform. We need to quickly create thing. Yep. Because um, it shouldn't be called thing. So let's go and create a prefab here. Basically, all we need is a small prefab, which is going to be a box, uh, and sorry, not an, a game object, not an empty game object, a cube. 3D object cube. 
I'm set it to zero zero zero. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it with the default material, and you'll see in the next video why I'm doing that. Uh, it's very important. Inside of our prefab, we will come here and call it. Whoops, in the <laughs> rename the prefab, not the folder. Data point. Data point. Come back to analytics display. Oh no, the thing. Public game object. Would you? Would you? Sh shall I continue to call it thing? No, I just call it data point. We renamed it. P data point. So I call P for prefab. Okay. So now we can come back to analytics display. It's going to give me um, the asking me for the. Uh, Sorry, I'm going, where is it? I haven't pressed save, that's why. <laughs> it's gonna ask me where P data point is or what object should I put in there. The name thing does not currently exist in the current, yes, I know. Well, it can't compile. Okay, P data point. There you go. Now you'll be happy. I did press save, didn't I? Yep. Yes, I did. <laughs> that would have been quite embarrassing. Let's take data point over to our P data point. So now every time that we say create a new one, it's going to grab that object and then position it as the parent, um, as a child of cool. the display pair pathway, mm -hmm. which we should also make sure that we put that at zero, zero, zero. Otherwise everything's gonna be offset by a bunch and then it'll just be weird. Uh, so now the last thing we need to do is quickly put the event display thing, I'm gonna call it event data point. A bit more sense. We say event data point dot transform dot position is equal to the event position, and that should be all that we need for this one. No way. Oh yeah, let's check it out. Hopefully, I did press save. Yes. Stop checking. Just believe you can do the right thing. Press A, and I have an object reference not set to instance of object on analytics manager on analytics display where data player click by data oh first you need to check if this is is equal if this is equal to null and then dot data is equal to null yeah, it's equal to null if or oh, whatever that works too I'm gonna go be painful and annoying to you but if this is in here That's hit fine. it still would have meant that this was null which meant that get some data from our API didn't didn't actually get us anything. Probably because it's asynchronous, so it takes a while to come back. Yes, good point. So let's take render some data into get some data from our API and put mm. it after the coroutine. That makes sense. Whoops, my mistake. Where, where did I go? There I am. Save. Save. Oh, it didn't crash. Oh. Where, where'd my objects go? There they are. They're all at zero. Yay. Oh, ha 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 ha. Uh, the endpoint. Get player path by time. Oh, we need by clicks. We need by clicks. So let's put that by clicks. Cool. Great. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> I'm saying that a lot in this video. Good. From here, run away. So they're still at zero. Why are they all at zero? Oh, that's weird. But it's creating one single data point and it's putting it at zero. Let's go and check this out. Let's look at the time we hit here, the time we hit there. You are not running. Attach to Unity. Press play. A. So when we hit this one, oh, hang on, yeah, it needs to be inside the coroutine. Get play path by clicks. Oops. Surprised you're not laughing at me for that one, Nick. Well, everyone needs a. Yeah, everyone needs it, a break. Yeah, everyone needs a break. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you leave. Why are you doing this? It's 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 stuck, which is embarrassing. It's 
Start the task manager. Embarrassing from Microsoft. Unity's having a freak out on me. Alright, let's. Yeah. I'm gonna have to kill Unity. Then start Unity back up again. Cool. Cool. <laughs> this happens sometimes. Ah, wrong project. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Let's go back into 3D Bars Game Analytics. There you can see the finished product that we're working towards. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, moral of the story there, do not press, um, don't make any changes to Visual Studio <laughs> while Unity's doing stuff. Yeah, oh well. uh, This one. Alright, let's put play, go playing, come here, attach, here. <laughs> Press A, hit Come on. point. There we go. Right, good. So now it's got... going to get the data. It says I'm going to wait till I have the data before I right. actually go ahead and read Let, it. Let's uh, let's check. No, 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 let's let's check what data points. Let's see if it is actually not zero. It shouldn't be zero. You and your uh, mm -hmm. logical top checking, moving on to everything. Clear this. So that's going to go and do nothing, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Hooray! Let's make sure it makes makes an object. No freaking out here. Awesome. Awesome. Pressing F5 just to continue along. And we've got all the boxes. Awesome. Okay, so there's wow, all the boxes. That's awesome. And we go, wow, we can see where everybody's clicking. You can see that as I'm playing this game, I love going off to the right a lot more than to the left. Mm. Um, but now we can see this kind of that's collection cool. of where people are clicking. They're, they're clicking here on the end, and someone clicked way over there. Someone being, surely that was you, Nick. Oh, there's only no, two of us here who would have played that. this game. I have to check my client ID. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's where we're going to finish off this video. In the next video, we're going to color these that's based cool. on how many people are clicking in a position. Cool. Sounds awesome. cool. See you all in the next video.